loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizelle and today's video is my long-awaited, updated beauty room slash office tour. I've been getting so many requests from you guys to film an updated room tour so I've finally done that for you all but if you have seen my previous room tour I'll leave the link for that in the description below. That was actually at our old place. We have moved since then and since we moved, I have downgraded in the size a little bit. So this room is a little bit smaller, however, I still love it and I'm still obsessed with it. This room is pretty much where I spend most of my time, just like hanging out, filming, editing, shopping online. But really, I am so lucky, thankful, and blessed to have this little space to call my own. So if you guys want to see a tour of my room, then just keep on watching. Alrighty, so this is pretty much what you see as you walk in through the door. You guys will notice that there is a lot of gold going on in this room because that's the theme that I decided to have for it. So as you enter, you will see a set of shelves in front of you. These are actually the shelves that are always behind me in most of my videos. They're from Ikea and they're a part of the Vitstro range, but when you buy them, they actually come in like a gray powder coated steel. So CJ spray painted them gold for me. In between the shelves, I have these four prints that I recently picked up from a local market. I'll actually leave the link to their website down below because they do have an online website. So I just thought they went with my room really well, plus they're gold and foiled. So onto the shelves now. Above my shelves, I just keep like a whole bunch of bags and boxes and things because I'm such a hoarder and I hate to throw away things that look pretty but for this first shelf I pretty much just keep most of my perfumes on here they're sitting on a mirrored tray underneath that I have a mirrored frame with a quote inside a couple of candlestick holders from IKEA and actually I just wanted to quickly show you guys what is behind my door. This is actually a painting that my dad painted of Audrey Hepburn, but it's really heavy, so I can't hang it up at the moment. So for the time being, it just stays back there. Onto the third shelf now, I have a glass house candle. This perfume, giant perfume bottle, was actually from Spotlight, and the vase was a DIY. And on the very bottom shelf, I just have a couple of these storage boxes from Ikea. At the top of the next set of shelves, this particular shelf is actually quite messy so I just have a storage box with all of my chokers, a Polaroid camera, some sunnies, the next shelf has my beloved glitter golden Bambi and just a couple of decor pieces that I have from here and there. Another one of those mirrored frames with a quote because I have a thing for quotes guys. And then underneath that I have this gold Mecca Maxima bag. I have a thing for keeping shopping bags. It's really weird. Then I have this letter L from Typo, a couple of Ray Morris makeup books. And as you guys can see, there is a flower crown. CJ actually made that for me. And in between that, I just keep this little candy jar that I actually use to store my earrings. And then on the very bottom, I just have another set of those IKEA storage boxes. Now on to where I pretty much do my makeup when I'm not filming. I love my vanity and makeup storage. You guys would have noticed if you've seen my previous uh, room tour video that I only had one set of Alex drawers. Now I have two. So the obsession has grown. On the ground, on the ground, on the floor I have this faux fur rug from Kmart and a stool. On top of this set of Alex 9 drawers, I keep all of my makeup brushes in these little plant pots. They're actually from Ikea and they were $2 each. Also, if you guys want to see an updated makeup collection and storage video, comment down below and let me know because I'd be more than happy to do that for you guys. Moving on to what's actually on top of my vanity, I have this gold trinket tray that I keep most of my daily jewelry in. This photo frame is from Kmart and in it, 
it's actually a card it's not a photo like or a print it's actually just a card from the Megan Hess for Hallmark collection these brush holders are from Target but they no longer have them so unfortunately I don't know where you can find them if you guys are wondering where this mirror is from it's actually from Kmart and it's so big and such good quality which is awesome because it's only $29 I got these little glass jars from eBay and I basically just use them to store like bobby pins, hair ties, q-tips, cotton pads, all that kind of thing. On this side of my vanity I have another brush holder. This set of quote cards and my little standalone mirror is actually from Kmart. Seven bucks but I had a little DIY moment and spray painted it gold. I also have this bedazzled Tarte lash curler and I'm basically only keeping this in because my cousin hates it and I want her to see it so this is for you. <laughs> Here's a little sneak peek of what's in this set of Alex 9 drawers but on top I just have a bunch of decor pieces on this one. So I have a round gold vase with some faux hydrangeas, another one of those frames and a couple of Megan Hess books as well as my House of Lashes lash storage thing. Onto my desk now, this is where I spend most of my time, just sitting at my computer doing whatever I do. So the actual desk itself is from Ikea, it's basically like the tabletop comes separate and then the trestled legs come separate as well and they were of course spray painted gold. So you can get that from Ikea. This is my camera filming setup. I just have two soft boxes and then my tripod with my camera on top behind my computer. On this side of my desk, I have more frames with some more quotes. My SD cards have to be kept in this bowl, otherwise I'll lose them. The mouse pad was actually a DIY, a really quick one at that. I just pretty much put marbled contact paper onto an old mouse pad. Then I have my Kiki K metallic gold planner. That marbled notebook is actually from Kmart. And then I have just these storage boxes to keep little extra bits and pieces. So that pretty much brings us to the end of the room tour. If you guys have any questions about anything, especially if you want to know where things are from because I couldn't talk about everything in this video, comment down below and ask me and I'll definitely get back to you ASAP. Alright guys, that is the end of the room tour. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos I post. If you guys want to follow me on any of my social media accounts, you can find the links for those down below. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having an awesome week and I will see you all in my next video. Take care. Boom 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 bo